Welcome my Capricorns. I'm back y'all with another video. Yes. Let's talk guys. Um, let me cut my fan down. I got my fan on. Hold on. Give me a second. Okay. Give me a second. Alright. So. Welcome guys. Welcome. Welcome back. This is going to be a mid-month uh, video for the remainder of June guys. If you're new to my channel, come on in, come on in. Happy to have you here. All right. So before we jump into the reading, guys. Oh, I seen the Five of Swords jump out. So there may be a little bit of conflict going on. This is going to be a general read. So it may or may not resonate. Take what applies and leave what does not. Don't try to make it fit if it does not fit, guys. Okay. So let's get into it. Let's see what messages we got. Um, guys, this here. Before we jump into the read, guys, I want you guys to see my uh, new and improved Money Magnet Oil, guys. It's, this product here is going to help elevate you um, if you're starting a new business venture, if you are trying to get a raise or promotion at work, um, if you're good at, um, you're like a gambler or you do scratch-offs. Um, anything in pertaining to luck and abundance and prosperity, this is going to be the product for you, honey. When I say I've added five new ingredients to it, so it's it's very new and improved, guys. This item is going to be 20% off today, guys. You can check out this item on the website. That information is going to be in the drop box below, all right? But yeah, y'all want to get this. Y'all are going to want to get this product, okay? All right, so let's hop into the read, guys. Let's see what messages we get for my Capricorns. Yes, we got the Ten of Swords, okay? So something has definitely ended. Maybe you feel betrayed. There's some type of... Definitely. Ooh, and the Queen of Swords. And the Four of Cups. And the Moon. And the Will of Fortune. Six of Wands. Okay, what's going on here? I feel like there was some type of ending. It may have ended, ended really bad because we got the Queen of Swords and the Four of Cups. Okay. So something ended bad. Okay. And maybe it's because maybe some type of secret got out or something was exposed. Something that was supposed to be kept a secret, maybe someone exposed. Okay. And maybe in front of a lot of people with the Six of Wands. And the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like something is going in your favor or going in your way, but something just ended badly. Something may have ended badly. Seven of Cups. Yeah. You cut off some options here. And a lot of people are surprised. Okay, so it looks like you guys are happy okay we got the tower the eight of swords i feel like this caught some people off guard there's something here about the tower something happened that was dramatic okay and it caused a tower moment in your life um maybe this was something that you were stuck in your head about for a while you was thinking about how you were going to do it how like what action you were going to take but i feel like maybe you are happy that you finally made some type of decision i feel like y'all made some type of decision possibly in regards to a relationship here but definitely some options got cut off it's like i'm hearing i can't take it no more ace of pentacles okay ace of pentacles somebody may have asked you for a gift or asked you for something <laughs> just <laughs> Somebody that you possibly were in an uh, on-again, off-again, um, a sexual type of connection with. Because you got the Knight of Wands and the Two of Cups. So, definitely, like, some type of on-again, off-again connection, you may have ended. Okay? Maybe you were waiting to do this. But you went ahead and, and cut some someone or some things off. We got the Queen of Wands here. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. This could have been your final decision. Okay, your final decision. You made a final decision in the past to take action. Some type of truth came out. Something was brought to the light. The judgment and the Ace of Swords is definitely a truth 
coming to light. I feel like this is something that you've been thinking about. You've been pondering on it for a while. And I feel like it finally came to the surface. Okay. It finally came to the surface. We got the Ten of Wands. Y'all see how these cards jumping? Moving ahead. Y'all are going to feel burdened about a situation. Maybe you're ready to drop that burden. Okay, we got the seven of pentacles. Maybe you're reevaluating the situation on whether or not you want to leave. For some of you, you decide to leave a marriage. Okay, some of you walked out on a partner that you could have been married to. Okay, um, this is you guys' energy, knight of pentacles. The knight of pentacles and the four of wands. It looks like you left something for something that was more stable. Or you're looking, going towards something more stable. But we got a lot of sneakiness going on here. Something was, is sneaky about this situation. Ooh. Yeah, the chariot. So you ended something and you're going towards something else, okay? You got another plan in mind, possibly another lover, okay? It could be a Leo here with the strength card. So this is what you're going towards, okay? So you made a decision to move forward, possibly with this Leo. You've been holding back. You've been trying to hold back from doing this or making this decision. But intuitively, like, you feel like this could be a fun, something fun, Okay, it's like you're just celebrating. Um, you're celebrating this. I feel like you cut out some options and you made your decision. And I feel like you're having a lot of fun. You're, you know, it's it's up. It's up there. <laughs> All right, we got the Knight of Cups. Okay, so how this other person feels in the situation? They feel like they got a solid offer from you. So maybe you offered this person your cup um, and it was a solid offer, okay? We got the Hierophant, okay? So in your hopes and fears, we got the Hierophant. You could be dealing with the Taurus, but somebody here could have definitely been married. I feel like for some of you, I'm getting like a divorce on the horizon or a separation. And I feel like um, this could have gotten out and I feel like it made a, it pissed a lot of people off with the five of wands and the five of swords for sure, for sure. There's a lot of people involved in this situation. Um, maybe that's why you were waiting. A lot of people have their opinions, their perspectives, how they view the situation. And I feel like a lot of people are mad. Um, someone here is mad because something ended a connection. Um, it was a connection that possibly was just strictly sexual. Or it was an on-again, off-again relationship, and it ended, okay? And somebody's pissed about it. All right, so as the outcome, we got the King of Cups, okay? King of Cups, you could be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, all right? But we got the Three of Swords here and the Three of Cups, okay? So... There could be some third-party energy, for sure, for sure. I feel like there's some third-party energy going on. So, I don't know if you completely drop all of your options for this person. And I don't know if there's, like, some type of open relationship thing going on here. But there's definitely, possibly, like, some broken hearts um, over a third-party situation. Yeah, I feel like you... I feel like, for some of you, you're kind of confused. I feel like you made a decision, and then maybe you go back... To thinking about it and you're just like i don't know you know um i don't know but i feel like some of you are holding on possibly to a fire sign um leo i feel like there's a love here you actually care about this person um but the lovers is a decision in love okay and i feel like you definitely made a decision you definitely made a decision okay some of you made a decision to cut off options and completely be single some of you um are definitely dealing with the leo but i feel like some of you cut off options to focus on yourself some of you are going towards possibly a leo um so let's let's see what we got here let's get some clarifiers here why is the ten of swords here i think i'm gonna use this other deck here
If this message is resonating with you guys, be sure to hit the like button and comment below and subscribe. All right, why is the Ten of Swords here? Um, the Seven of Pentacles. All right, so you're definitely re you're looking at a situation. Maybe you've invested in a situation and you're looking at it like, okay, what am I going to get out of the situation? Is it is this situation going to be worth it? Okay, now with the Ten of Swords here and the Seven of Pentacles, this could be saying that maybe you feel like something that you were in wasn't worth it. Okay, maybe you were the one that was giving more to the situation than the other. Okay, and and you just feel like this is going to cause some conflict, okay? Like, this is an issue, something that you think that you're, how you're viewing the situation. Um, maybe you gave more to the situation than the other person. Why is the Seven of Pentacles in? Four of Pentacles. Okay, so you're holding back. You're holding back. Because maybe someone decided that they weren't, you maybe feel like they weren't putting in enough effort. And so I feel like you gave up, you gave up, and you walked away. Some of you decide to just be single. <laughs> like, you was like, I'm this, this, they're not doing enough. Why the Eight of Pentacles here? Yeah, the Emperor. Could be an Aries. But someone could be a boss. Someone could have their own business. But I feel like maybe you were waiting for this person to put in some effort. You could be married to this person. You, you were waiting for this person to put in effort and be able to put in the work or collab with you or do something together. But you started ending up regretting uh, the decision, okay? Possibly with a fire sign. Could be a Sagittarius here. Um, I feel like you want something more balanced, okay? So you decide to take a risk and go towards something new, Okay. So, tell me more about the emperor here. The world, yeah. You've closed the chapter. A cycle is ended. And I feel like maybe you are a player, player from the Himalayas here. With the Three of Swords and the King of Wands. A bunch of people could have got their hearts broken. Okay? But you, for some of you, you may have thought that this person was going to be a changed person. Like, this person changed Maybe you decided to change your mind. Maybe this person is saying, hey, I'm a changed man. Hey, I'm a changed woman. Um, but somebody still does have some options. See, we got the seven of cups here twice. Somebody had a lot of options. Okay. A lot of people that they a lot of people that they're taught that they communicate with, a lot of females here. So this cost this person possibly. Somebody had their guard up. And some of you may have decided, you know, this person got too much going on. I'm finna just move on. Okay, it could be a Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, somebody that you may have dropped with the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Okay. All right, so the Seven of Cups is here. Why is the Seven of Cups? Yeah, see, you were looking. I feel like some of you were already looking for a, a different option. Okay. Maybe you just, you know, weren't sure. But I definitely do sense that there was a marriage here or someone was with someone for a very long time and there was some cheating going on. And I do feel like there was a marriage here. But maybe this person comes with the offer to put in some effort or maybe you came along and, you know, told this person like, hey, I need you to put in more effort. But you didn't see any effort from this person. You didn't see any effort from this person. Like, this person didn't put in any effort at all. So, the tower moment came. And this destroyed this relationship completely. Okay? It destroyed this relationship completely. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Yeah, the Four of Wands. I feel like there could be a divorce. There could be a separation period. But someone could also be getting a new home. Um, I'm seeing that. I'm also seeing a lot of stability. Okay. And I feel like a lot of people are, this is a lot of people's energy. Like maybe there was some stiff ass competition in this situation. It was a lot of people involved. There's a lot of gossip, a lot of 
he say, she say, and a lot of spying going on. Possibly here's the strength card. A lot of y'all dealing with the Leo. Um, there's a lot of chitter chatter going on, a lot of talking going on, a lot of talking going on about this king and queen of pentacles here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay, there's a lot going on. A lot of people are um, having an opinion on this, and a lot of people may have said that. Look, maybe you should have waited, or maybe you feel like you should have waited to make this love decision. Okay, but it was a tough decision. I feel like this was a tough decision for you anyway. It wasn't like it was easy, okay? But maybe people feel like there was a lot of mind games involved. Because I'm telling you, I feel like y'all had a lot of options. And once you chose this option, pick when you finally chose who you wanted to go with, it started with a lot of confusion. Once the four of wands in the will of fortune and the king of swords. Somebody is saying that they're changed men. Somebody is saying that they changed their mind here. Um, and somebody gave up and left. Somebody changed their mind about a situation. It could be you. You decided to change. You changed your mind about this, about this situation. And you decided to walk away. And some of y'all are like, I'm just going to be single and enjoy my life okay i'm just going with the flow of things i'm going to decide who i want to be with out you know i'm just i'm going to have fun okay now we got the queen of wands back here leo sagittarius aries i feel like with the five of cups here i feel like you were having some regrets okay you're having some regrets here about an action that was taken maybe you were feeling like maybe, well, dang, you know, I'm, I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. Or this person here has been waiting and waiting and waiting. You know, it's kind of starting to feel bad. I feel like there was, this could have been a, the side person here with the seven of swords. Maybe you had something going on on the side or they had something going on the side. Take it how it is. But there was some lies going on, some manipulation. Okay. And the relationship definitely fell apart. Okay. It was, it was time because we got the judgment here. Somebody here was not happy anymore. Somebody here was not pleased in their situation. And somebody was begging somebody to put in the work, put in the effort. And they just did not put in the work or the effort. Okay. Why's the three of wands here? The six of pentacles. Okay. So you, yeah, there's, a, there's something here about giving this person here some time. Okay. You was giving this situation over here. Possibly with the fire sign, you was giving this situation some time. I feel like this was what you wanted. You wanted to move forward because you was you was in your feelings with this person. You loved this person. And you knew that this situation was going to be fun. It was going to be a lot of joy and excitement. So I feel like the truth came out. Some type of truth came out. And somebody's player ways with the three of swords and that king of wands. A player had to sit down. So it looks like you guys made your decision. All right, so like moving forward, we got the Ten of Wands. Why the Ten of Wands? Tell me more. Ooh, you took a big risk. Big, big risk. Big risk. So this situation was risky, okay? There's a lot of secrets, a lot of secrets. We got the devil and the moon, okay? So there's a lot of secrets going on here. A lot of people could be mad. A lot of people involved, for sure. There's a lot of gossiping, a lot of he say, she say, a lot of spying going on. Tell me more about this fool. There's a new beginning. Like, you took a leap of faith. Ooh, then you jump into the tower. Ugh, okay. So, you took this big risk, this leap of faith, and then there's a tower moment, okay, about a decision that you made, okay? The magician and the lovers. So, you made up your mind, but it was risky. It was risky. Ugh, Okay.
Tell me more about this tower. The temperance. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Okay. I'm getting some type of big awakening for sure. Okay. I'm getting a lot of confusion. Like you being mentally confused about a decision, a choice. I feel like there's an extreme amount of confusion going on. Okay, tell me about the temperance. Yeah, the four of cups. It's like you're you can you can't find any peace. You haven't you don't feel at peace or you don't feel comfortable because of this tower moment. Something happens. Is there's this big risk that's taken and you just no longer feel comfortable. I feel like there's something that you want to move towards, but it's just like now you don't feel comfortable. Tell me more about this four of cups. The Knight of Wands. Okay, there's some back and forth. Okay, I'm getting somebody. It's like you finally get what you want in a relationship. But then there's confusion. Why is the Knight of Wands? Yeah, I'm getting some I'm getting like done. I'm done talking. I'm done begging for attention. Okay, so somebody here feels like they should be put as a top priority. I'm not sure if it's you or the person that you chose. Okay. Maybe you decide that you should just stay single. Somebody here is nagging. Why is the page of pentacles here? Four of swords. Yes, like now I feel like you're 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 thinking about this. This was a big decision. This 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 is big. This is transformative. Like this situation and this decision could be life changing for you. With the judgment here in the four of swords, this tells me that especially with the tower there, that it's kind of it's a big deal. Okay, and I feel like you are thinking about this i feel like some of you are reevaluating you're double thinking about this okay eight of swords nine of swords like you're really really in your head about this situation we got the ten of pentacles okay you could be thinking about your money your finances and the ace of wands and the seven of wands the magician and the lovers and the three of pentacles Okay, so there's some planning. You're doing some planning possibly with a fire sign here. And I'm getting, I'm hearing, I'm done. I'm hearing somebody say, I'm done begging for attention. I'm telling you, somebody is saying that I'm done begging for attention. Okay, make your decision. You want to be single? If you don't want to be here, then leave. I'm not sure. What's, tell me why is the uh, chariot here? Yeah, like you're moving forward, you're celebrating. This is what's going on right now. You're celebrating. You have this this new cup of love. You're celebrating. You're having fun. But the but it comes with a lot of turmoil and confusion. It comes with a lot of indecision. It comes with a lot of, of mental okay, mental cloudiness. Yeah, like five of pentacles and a three of cups. Maybe you maybe you feel like the, you. this is what you've been missing. You've been missing out on the fun, the fun of life, okay? I feel like for some of you, we got the, there could be a Taurus involved. But I feel like you're happy in this connection. I feel like this is something that you've been lacking. You've been lacking the fun and the adventure, okay of a connection and i feel like this connection that you're in is is fun it's exciting why the night of cups here the star and the devil you guys this energy this person carries a lot of hope um this person could be really really obsessed with you like they just like 
your company light being around you. Yeah, they want to build with you. They want to work with you. Okay, and they don't want you to leave. We got the death card and the eight of cups. They don't want to see you walk away, but they feel like they feel like you have some secrets about your past, maybe about your exes. Um, but they do want to continue to move forward. Like they want to move forward. This person wants to move forward, even in the midst of all of this confusion. Like there's a lot of confusion tied into this situation. Um, but I feel like Tell me more about this Five of Pentacles here. And Seven of Cups, I told you. Like, I feel like maybe you feel it's fun, but maybe you know that... I'm, I just keep getting that you may feel like... I feel like you're second-guessing this decision. But I feel like you're going along with it because it's fun. And you're happy. Like, it's like, okay, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy, so... But... I feel like there's something about this situation that is causing a lot of conflict in your life. That's bringing a lot of confusion to your life. All right. Now, we got the Hierophant here. And your hopes and fears. The Ace of Pentacles. Okay. So, maybe you're hoping, like, I hope I made the right decision. You know, I feel like you you cut something or you, you ended something. Okay, so you can make plans with this person. Um, and I feel like you're hoping, like, I hope I made the right decision. As the outcome, we got the King of Cups. And we got the Empress and the Page of Cups. King of Cups, again, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. But I'm hearing somebody saying there's somebody's blocking you from going anywhere. So whoever you're dealing with, like there may be females or other uh, other I can't even talk other males or other females that admire you or admire your person. But somebody saying, "Oh, you're not going nowhere. <laughs> you're not going nowhere. You're not going anywhere." This person may feel like they put in a lot of work. Wants to pay the cuts here. The Six of Cups, yeah, I see. Someone here is talking about an ex. Um, why is the Hierophant here? And like I said, I feel like there could be talks of a divorce, okay? Somebody is having talks about a divorce, and somebody could be trying to stop somebody from going along with that process. But yeah, somebody, you guys could be planning on getting a divorce, Okay. And you doing that because whatever you were dealing with, it just makes you feel uh, like you should walk away because there's a lot of secrets. I feel like something got exposed. We got the moon and the sun here. Something got exposed. Some definitely has a wife. I'm still hearing someone could possibly have a wife. Um, somebody had a choice between two people. And somebody chose something that was more desirable. Okay. And you could be thinking, like, you know, that chapter is over with. That chapter is closed. Like, my focus is on me right now. And that's what it is. Like, there's a lot of issues that need to be resolved in this relationship. I'm not going to lie. Like, what you're dealing with now, I feel like there's a lot of conflict and a lot of confusion. And there's a lot of things that need to be ironed out. But at the same time, I feel like you could be having fun um, and it's keeping your mind off of a situation that you're trying to move past from. And I feel like you are making plans. For some of you, it is to get a divorce. A divorce or to get a legal separation. But I feel like, you know, this is something that could be very, very, um, how can I put it? very confusing because I do see like I just see a lot lots of confusion and you have to think about that like this situation is bringing a lot of confusion to you like are you trying to find balance or let's do some angel uh, messages
what uh, advice do you have for the Capricorn? The situation will improve, okay? The situation that you're in, guys, I feel like it's going to improve, okay? But you're going to have to take action for it to improve. You can't just expect for the situation to improve by itself. You're going to have to take action, okay? Something is up to you. You need to listen to your intuition about this situation, okay? Because it's something that about a decision that's going to be up to you. Something here is just not the right time. Something is not the right time. And it's something that you need to listen to your intuition on. That something is just not the right time to be making some type of move. Okay. Tell me more. We got abundance. Okay. And there's a lot of abundance here in your romance life. I feel like for some of you, you guys are super thrilled and super excited about some type of changes, a big happy change that is going on in your life. I feel like you got a new cup of love here. And I feel like you're looking at this situation like it's very abundant, like this is this is gold, okay? And this is has to do with your romance life, all right? I just saw one flip over. Oh, there we go. If you believe, okay, if you believe, if you believe, okay, and give me one more. We got no need to worry. No need to worry. Within the next few months, you guys got some romance, a lot of romance coming in. Give me one more card for overall. Give me one more card here. We got remain positive. Okay. So Spirit is saying, look, the situation that things that you're going through is going to get better. Okay. We got, um, it's up to you. Something's definitely not the right time to take action on something here. But it looks like you guys have abundance coming your way. And if you believe in no need to worry. So we're going to clarify. We got, uh, the situation is going to improve. We got the four of cups. There's something that you're, that you feel down about. Um, there's something that you feel down about. You're disappointed about. Um, and we got the devil. You you got the energy. A situation was toxic. I feel like you're avoiding going back to this situation. Um, because right now you're you're happy and you're focused on yourself. You're abundant. Okay, you've already made your decision on who you want to be with, and and for some of you, like I said, there's this situation and connection was just a sexual connection. Um. It was just for fun. It wasn't rewarding to you. It wasn't pleasing to you. Um, Why is the devil here? Tell me more. Yeah, the lovers. And the tower, yes. Something, oh gosh, like a foundation just fell apart with the lover. Something fell apart, okay? The Seven of Cups um, and the King of Cups. Somebody may have had a lot of options. Yeah, somebody definitely had a lot of options. Could have been on both ends. Somebody had a lot of options. And there was a lot of going back and forth. Okay, so maybe you, you just decided, you know, let's just balance. I need balance in my life. I need peace in my life. Okay. Tell me more about this Tower and the Lovers. The Ace of Cups. There's an offer here. You got an offer, okay? Got an offer here. And I feel like you didn't want to miss out on this this offer. You felt like it was a good offer. You didn't want to miss out on it. Um, and you took it. I feel like there's a new offer that either you took or you're getting ready to take. All right, so we got, it's up to you. We got the Six of Swords. So it was up to you. To move on from this situation from the past and start something new. Why is the six of swords here? The nine of swords. I feel like you think about this. Um, you overthink about, you know, how to move on. But you I do feel like some of you feel like the best thing for you to do is just walk away. Some of you feel like it's the best thing for you to do. I feel like you you want this person to make time for you. Um you wanted to talk more. And I feel like for some, it was a marriage, okay, that just did not work out. There was just, like, a lot of disagreements. I feel like you and this person weren't on the same page. And I feel like 
You just decided to walk out. You walked out. Why is the nine of swords here? Eight of wands, yeah. I feel like you're thinking of what to say to this person from their past. I don't feel like you don't even know how to how to come at this person. You don't even know how to approach this person from your past, okay? So it's like going back to that, you kind of like, no, nah, I don't want to go back to that, okay? All right, like I said, there, some of you may have felt like, you know, going back for what, okay? I've already made my decision. Okay, so it's no need to go back, but I feel like maybe there's some some things maybe left unsaid that you want to say. You just don't know how to approach this person. Tell me about the page of wands, the hermit. Yeah, I feel like you may have ghosted this person, and that's why you may you know not really know how to approach this person from your past. Um, I feel like some of y'all ghosted this person. Could be a Virgo. Yeah, the King of Swords, like, I feel like you just cut this person off. <laughs> it was a solid, like, cut off. Like, yeah, this, I'm gone. I'm gone. All right, and just like I said, the judgment and the Ace of Swords, some type of truth came out. Okay, so not the right time. The Strength card. Something's not, the Leo's energy keeps coming out. Something, Spirit is saying something is not the right time. You need to... Have your guard up, okay? There's something here about your past. Somebody here is blocking you from something from your past. And something, I feel like you're focused on yourself. And I feel like you're trying to press forward. Um, but this person could be offering you, could be offering you something that you feel like is just the best thing. Um, could be offering you gifts and money, eight of pentacles, ace of pentacles. Like that's they're offering you things to uh have control in the situation. Okay. Um, I'm getting that somebody here talks a lot of shit here. Um and they they feel like you, they think that you you'll go for it if if money's involved, okay, if it's beneficial to you, okay, then it, you would have chose them. And that's just point blank, period. And see, Spirit is saying, be careful now because something is not the right time. Why is the strength here? The star. Could be an Aquarius. I'm telling you, I can't make it up. Now, the Seven of Pentacles is being patient. So this person could have been sitting in the cut, patiently waiting. Um... Someone here made their move and someone decided to walk away. Somebody was stuck in the situation. Could have been a marriage here that they abandoned, that they walked away from. Because somebody here was waiting in the cut, okay? Somebody here was waiting in the cut. Spirit says, look, this situation going to be a burden. You're going to have a lot of regrets. And I'm just, I'm going to just keep it real now. This is not everybody's situation. But Spirit is saying, look, this, this situation is going to be a burden. You may not have any regrets right now. But Spirit is saying, wait to make that decision. Take your time. Take your time. Before you make that decision, take your time. Somebody could be holding on to someone for sex. And somebody here is saying that they are married. Someone is telling somebody, I'm getting somebody's pillow talking about what's going on in their household, in their marriage, in their situation. Okay? There's a lot of partying, a lot of sex, a lot of drugs going on. And we got the Nine of Cups. And the Queen of Cups and the Ten of Swords. Somebody wanted you to walk away from somebody and end something. You got this side person here with the Seven of Swords and the Queen of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. There's a side piece here. They promising gifts and, and all of this because they think that you'll go for it. 
So Spirit is saying you better pay attention, be on your P's and Q's, walking into a new situation, especially involving a Leo or um, an Aquarius. Why is the Ten of Wands here? The Empress. Somebody here could get pregnant. We got the Page of Swords here. There's a lot of spying going on. And somebody, uh, Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, this is you guys' energy. I feel like you're, I feel like some of y'all are happy, okay? You're happy. Like, you feel like this situation is gold and this situation is all good. But there's some type of truth. There's some type of wake-up call that's going to that's gonna be some type of judgment in this situation. Somebody took a leap of faith, a risk, and... We got the six of wands it's in front of a lot of people okay somebody is saying that they a changed woman or a changed man here and somebody could possibly even change their mind somebody's giving somebody gifts somebody's giving somebody money to say that hey i'm your man i'm your woman whatever somebody here is paying somebody off that's what it looks like that's what it feels like to me why is the interest here the five of swords Ooh, got some competition and a lot of it's a lot going on i, I feel the con i feel the conflict somebody's getting tired somebody's gonna get tired of all of that abundance we got the high priestess and the queen of wands she's here again <laughs> abundance your intuition is telling you somebody's playing, somebody's back and forth, or somebody's saying that they're done playing, done going back and forth, okay? Ooh, we got the Knight of Swords and the Two of Cups. Somebody could be really young. You could be dealing with somebody younger than you or you're younger than this person. And somebody is, ooh, we got Two of Wands. Somebody made their choice, but somebody's saying that, look, somebody doesn't want Somebody doesn't want this Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, to be out having fun or out here looking for a new lover, an emperor, or an empress. Not the Queen of Wands here. There's that emperor. Ooh, there's a lot going on here. Somebody's a married man. And somebody knew that this person was a married man. And somebody was paying them. Somebody for sure. I just keep getting somebody's a married man. And they're cheating. They out cheating. Somebody's going to get tired of that. Somebody's going to get tired of it. Somebody's paying somebody to leave their situation now we got if you believe we got the queen of pentacles why is the queen of pentacles here three of wands and the chariot Why is the cherry? You can be dealing with the cancer. Oh, there's that ace of swords. Somebody was waiting for the truth to get out. Okay. And there's some he say, she say going on. Somebody was waiting for some type of truth to come out. Okay. Why is the ace of swords here? The page of swords didn't I tell you. There's some gossiping. People are gathering information. There's some he say, she say going on. Tell me more about the Page of Swords. The Will of Fortune. And the Three of Pentacles. But somebody here is just happy that they got their chance to build and work on something. This person waited until something was over and ended. Um, but somebody... Yep. 
pay the cut. Somebody walked away. Because somebody gave them the money to. Somebody gave them a gift. Somebody gave them some money or a gift for them to walk away from something that they were already working on and building on. To cut somebody off. To make the decision to cut somebody off. Somebody went for it. I don't know if it was you guys or them. I don't, hey, I'm just the messenger. All right, so we got no need to worry. Guard up. <laughs> Guard up. <laughs> oh, gosh. Somebody's telling somebody, look, it ain't no need to worry. I'm not going to go. I'm not going <laughs> to. I'm not. I don't think that I'm going to go back to that. Because that person mad at me anyway. Okay, why the nine of wands here? You gotta watch what you say. You gotta be careful what you say. And there's this relationship, this connection. Possibly with the fire sign. This is passionate. This this connection is really passionate. But there's a lot of competition, a lot of arguing, a lot of disagreements, and a lot of confusion. That's what I'm saying, like, this situation is, is very bringing a lot of confusion. Lots of confusion. Okay. Um, Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section. Let me know what's going on. Spirit is saying between all this, look. Remain positive. Okay. But just know that a situation may not be. It may. It's about timing. Of a situation and something just not the right time. Something's not the right time to to take action. Okay. All right. So y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. All right, guys. Don't forget, guys, if you're interested in booking a personal, that information is in the drop box below on how to contact me via email as well, guys. Go ahead and check out the money magnet oil, guys. Go ahead and get y'all pens up, run your money up, honey. All right, that information is gonna be in the drop box below as well. I'm gonna chat with y'all later. Ciao for now.